So I guess there's no better time to shoot this video than when the water is on the court because we got a lot of rain last night. Now, this court is easily the worst court I've ever deal dealt with. It without question needs to be replaced, but the customer refused, refuses, and he's a neighbor. So let's give it a shot. But I'm doing a lot of experimentation on this court because there's it's it's a complete shit show for lack of a better uh, description. So I came in here and pressure washed, and as you can see, this court used to be blue. I pressure washed all of that blue off. This is a lot of resurfacer underneath. I scraped a ton off, and you can see with this water. And you can kind of see by the weeds that there are literally channels just going all along this court. There's, there was a tree. You could see back there. You could see the stump. And there's still a tree root. So I'm going to try and knock that down. That's raised up about four inches. And when you come over here, what you'll see is there was a ton of concrete patch binder and stuff that doing my John, my uh, big John stud over the top rope, my big John stud under the giant over the top rope. So like my whole foot fits in there. So you could see that there was a ton of concrete that was used to fill what was probably a channel that was even worse. So we're gonna put so much crap on top of this asphalt and uh, like I said I have no warranties on this because this is gonna be a rough job because the court is in rough shape this is a lipstick on a pig job and you could see garbage bags there's two or three of them over there two or three of them over there and about 20 over here this was all material that I scraped up. This was blue I scraped up on the inside and green I scraped up on the outside and also the concrete that I removed from several different areas. So this is all of the waste that was created. All right, I'll show you as I go. So here is the after for this job. If you remember, this was all pressure washed and scraped up by hand. There were 20 bags of waste that I removed. And then there were a ton of channels that went down here that I had to fill in. And I filled in layer by layer with a combination of a resurfacer patch mix concrete patch binder there were a couple big depressions that i used aqua fault which is an asphalt patch with uh, so ton a ton of work a ton of layering the tree stumps that were over there they're still here but i lowered them in the previous video i said they were about four inches they were really about eight inches high you can still see them I basically rented a jumping jack compactor and bah, 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 <laughs> and knocked them down. They're still there, but the court is playable. So this is the after from the before. The only thing that really irks me about this court is that a lot of the squeegee strokes aren't the best because when you're layering material, at least I found that there's a happy medium between a thick coat and a thin coat. If you have a thick coat, it doesn't cure properly and, and, and it's a mess. So what I like to do is multiple thin coats. So even with the final coat, I had these channels, there was material that were settling. I also uh, uh, jumping jack compacted all of this stuff as well. So. I basically had to backhand squeegee a lot of the depressions in order to, uh, you know, make sure the, the, the paint was applied properly in the end. But unfortunately, it left 
some less than desirable squeegee strokes. I also put in some pickleball lines. So this was, like I said, the worst court I've ever worked on, but it's one of the better jobs I think I've done, even though the final court gets a C to a C minus, it's still playable, but uh, it's not an A or a B court, but I give myself A plus work. I'll give myself A minus work because you can't take an A plus on a C job. But anyway, that's the finals, the final court.